The coffee corner is the point where your high speed buffet and your low speed buffet actually coincide, get very close. Let me explain what does it mean. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot. Consider subscribe so you will not miss the next video. All right, let's jump into the today's topic. What is the coffin corner? Okay, as we said before, the coffin corner is the, the point where your high speed buffet and your low speed buffet actually get very close. What happens is that since they are very close, the aircraft, if accelerate, let's say you're flying close to the, this, this zone, this coffee corner, okay, and you accelerate a little bit, what will happen is that you're gonna have a problem because you're gonna fly into the overspeed situation, and if you decelerate a little bit, you have a problem because you're gonna go into the low speed situation, doesn't cotton in the stall speed, okay? In order to understand in full the coffin corner, we need to talk about what happened to your critical Mach number when you climb and what happened to your stall speed when you climb, okay? Let's start analyzing what happened to your critical Mach number with your altitude, okay? If you don't know what the critical Mach number is, I made a separate video which is on the link description below. Look, watch that video first and then come back here, okay? But first, as we know that when you climb, the temperature decrease, and when the temperature decrease, the local speed of sound decrease. Thus, on the mean sea level, the local speed of sound is 661 knots, and let's say a flight level 400, for example, the local speed of sound is 400 knots. So as you can see, on the mean sea level, Mach 1 is 660, and a flight level 400, for example, is 400 knots, okay? Since the Boeing 737 has a Mach MMO, a maximum Mach number, which is 0.82, you can now know that on the mean sea level, 0.82 means a speed, but at high altitude, 0.82 Mach number is actually a lower speed, okay? So as you can see, your maximum Mach number is a, a constant Mach number. In the case of the Boeing 737, it's 0.82. What you can now know is that with the altitude, this number is, is constant as a Mach number, but it's a lower number in true high speed, okay? Because as we said, with the altitude, the temperature decrease, and when the temperature decrease, the local speed of sound actually decreases. So your Mach 0.82 is a lower speed at 400, at flight level 400, okay? The same and opposite applies with the stall speed, okay? When you climb, since the air is less dense, okay, your stall speed expressed in true air speed, okay, in true air speed actually increase because the density is lower. It's the same as if you're like in a pool, okay, let's say you're in a pool and the pool is full of oil, okay, you can actually lie on top of the oil very easily because it's got a lot of density, the oil. But if you compare that to a pool full of water, I'm sure you're gonna have a lot more problem to lie on top of the water compared to the oil. And the same apply with the lift, okay? Since on the lower level of the atmosphere, we've got a lot of density, thus the aircraft can fly very easily. I mean, is easier uh, than uh, flying at very high altitude where the density is very low. And how can you maintain uh, the, the, uh, the sufficient lift to fly is that you have to fly at higher speed. Thus, with the increment of, of, uh, of altitude, your stall speed will actually increase, okay? So the coffin corner is where you are so high that your stall speed and your, uh, and your maximum Mach number, your Mach buffet and your stall uh, buffet actually get very close. Okay, now let's jump into the whiteboard and we put everything that we, that we just said into a graph in order to make sure that the concept is clear 100%. Looking at the whiteboard here, okay, I'm gonna draw a vertical line here, okay, this vertical line actually indicates the altitude, okay, so here is the mean sea level and here is a very high altitude, the cruise altitude, okay, and then horizontal line there, I'm gonna draw that this horizontal line actually indicates the true air speed, okay. Okay, let's say this is Mach 0.1, okay, Mach 1, for example. As we said, the Boeing 737 has got a Mach critic, a critical Mach number here of 0 0.82, okay, on the mean sea level, 0.2 is here because this one is 661 knots. However, since we are climbing, the, the 0.2 has got a lower through air speed because, as we said, with the climb, the temperature decreases, thus the local speed of sound decrease. So let's say that with a climb, 0.2 on the true air speed is actually this line here, okay, this oblique line. Okay, if we would have had the same true, uh, the same Mach number, the same local speed of sound with the altitude, this line would have been straight line, okay, because 0.82 means the same speed. However, 
since 0 to 2 means a lower speed is oblique like that okay so this is the uh, critic this, this is the MMO the maximum Mach number that you can fly okay so let's talk about the stall speed as we said the stall speed on the mean sea level is very low value okay because of density high density however with a climb since the density decrease your stall speed will actually increase because you need to fly at faster speed in order to keep flying and there will be a point in which these two, the low speed limit and the high speed limit, we actually get to the same point, okay? So this area here, as you can see, creates a corner, okay? This corner, this area here, when you have the high speed uh, limit and low speed limit to get very close, it's called coughing corner. So if this is the stall speed problem, okay? And this is the maximum Mach number problem. So an aircraft flying into this area, okay? What has got, has got a big deal, a problem, because if we accelerate a little bit, it's going to fly above its, mark, its critical Mach number, and if it's low down a little bit, it's going to go into the stall. So as you can see, the high speed buffet and the low speed buffet actually get very close, so you don't have any room for acceleration or deceleration, okay? In my career, I've been flying to the coffin corner a lot of times, so what you need to know, what you need to do is to really monitor closely your high speed, okay? Because if you accelerate a bit, you're gonna go into the macritic situation, if you decelerate a bit, you're gonna go into your stall speed. But my question is, what do you think you can do if you want to increase this gap between your um, low speed buff and your high speed buff? There is something that you can do. Looking at the graph here, if you descend, okay, if you take your aircraft and you start the descent, as you can see, the maximum speed for the Mach number and the low speed, the minimum speed for the stall, will actually start to get a lot more room for you. So you will see in your airspeed tape that your uh, uh, MMO and your low speed buffet will start to move away from your speed. That's even more room for speed increasement or speed decreasements, okay? So now let's talk about what happened to the coffin corner with the weight, okay? The heavier the aircraft, the higher will be the stall speed. So thus, looking at the graph again, if we have to write down a stall speed for a, high, for a heavier aircraft, what will happen is that since the stall speed will be higher, the coffin corner will be reached actually before, okay? So an, an heavier aircraft, we're go is gonna have the coffin corner before and that's why when you are heavy you cannot actually climb uh, very high you need to wait until your weight is low your your weight is reduced and then you can climb otherwise you're gonna go into this problem okay you you will not you're gonna go either into the stall or into the high speed situation okay so now let's go very practical okay what i did i took the simulator the expert 11 and then i made a climb at a constant mach number you will see that your maximum mach number your low speed buffet will start to get close to your high speed until you get actually to the coffin corner where you're gonna have a very little margin without further ado let's jump right into it Okay, looking here on the, on the screen, okay, you can see that the aircraft is actually is going to climb from flight level 330 to flight level 410, okay? We're going to climb at a constant 0.78 of Mach, which is the same of this one, okay? And what you will see is that because the constant Mach number, the speed will start to decrease, the indicated airspeed. And you will see in here, coming from the bottom here, as soon as we reach very high altitude, that's you're going to have the low speed buffet here coming, okay, the limits. And this MAC, the MMO, the maximum Mach number you can fly, is going to go down. And there will be a point in which both limits of the low speed buffet and high speed buffet will be very close, okay. And your goal is to maintain your actual speed between these two limits. Now, we've got lots of room available in here because we are low speed and the weight of our aircraft is not such that it's a limit for us. But let's have a look what happened when you climb. This is going to be an accelerated uh, climb, okay? Uh, it's actually, I'm fast forward in the video, otherwise it will take forever to climb from flight level 3 to, to climb to flight level 410. Now, the, the aircraft is climbing. Look at the speed here, the Mach number. Now it's approximately 274 knots, Mach 0.78. And now it's 272, 271. As you can see, it's actually going down. You see, because a constant Mach number, if you climb, you're going to have a lower indicated airspeed. Look at your maximum uh, MMO, your maximum Mach number, as you see, is going down and your low speed buffet is coming, you see? This is because we are actually getting closer because our stall speed is increasing and our maximum Mach number is decreasing in true high speed values. You can see the yellow line on the bottom there is continuing climbing and the maximum Mach number is continuing 
this side. So as you can see, we are getting up in a coughing corner, okay? It's a, po it's a problem there because if you slow down, you're gonna get into the low speed uh, situation. If you speed up, you're gonna get into the high speed situation. Okay, as you can see, they are getting very close. Look at the speed now. We started was uh, Mach 0.78 was 270 knots, and now at flight level 390, Mach 0.78 uh, is actually 240 knots. You see now the low speed buffer and the high speed buffer is actually getting very close to each other. You have less room. Okay, you cannot really play a lot with your speed. Okay. So flight level 400, the gap is getting even closer. But since we are coming to flight level 410, which is the absolute ceiling of the Boeing 737, you're gonna see what happened there. Look, you really have very few knots to play with. Eh? As you can see, you have for around from 235 knots on the high speed, and you've got around 220. So you've got around 10, 15 knots to play with, and it's not much. So now, as you can see here, we've got really low margin, okay, because we've got this yellow line there, which is the high speed buffet, is approximately 233 knots, and the low speed one is 290 knots. So as you can see here, we've got 13 knots to play with, and it's not that much. If you encounter like a jet, screen, jet stream, for example, that sometimes is, you find a, a huge, a big turbulence there, you can easily fly into the high speed situation, or you can end up into the low speed situation. That's why it's very important that you actually monitor all the time your coughing corner, okay? You monitor how much gap you got, okay? And you have to find, then with experience, you will find uh, an altitude that is good for you, okay? An altitude that gives you, uh, you stay calm, okay? You don't have to be focused on the airspeed all the time. Okay, I hope you like the video about the coughing corner and I hope you understand what it is. If you like the video, give it a like and consider subscribe to the channel. If you have any question throughout the video, Leave a comment below and I will help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you soon.